Today I'll be going over the design and building of a clamp caddy. I made this for my workshop to organize the assorted wood clamps that I could just never find because they were never in one place before. As with most of my projects, it starts with a drawn sketch. Then a fusion sketch. This one turns out way more complex than I needed. I started a second time and this one didn't quite have it the way I wanted. The third time I remembered to switch to inch sizes and I used simple boxes and then used the fillet tool to round the corners that needed rounding. When it came time to extrude, all the pieces needed were selected and that seemed to work the best. I'd like to point out here that I'm using the parameters to set these functions. You can see when I do my extrusion, it fills the value of the plywood depth. I'd like to thank Lars Christensen for doing some very fine videos which made this clear in my head not only how, but why to use it. Thanks, Lars. The handle also started as a sketch in Fusion. The two rectangles represent the pieces of wood that were glued together to make the handle. The oval hole is a recess for the hand grip, and the slot in the end of the joint is to fit into the wood. Here the design is almost finished and you can visualize how all the parts fit together. It also gives you a good idea of how it's going to look when done. I've rounded corners and bevel edges and I'm hoping this can be assembled with just glue as it looks like it has enough joints for strength. I don't believe that the handle will need any glue as all the other joints will hold that tight. Looks like I'm ready for the next step. This is kind of a luxury, but Fusion is able to render out HD movies. Looks good to me. Fusion sketches can be output as DXF files and then printed with a program like Inkscape. Here I printed the template out on four sheets of paper which are trimmed and assembled with small pieces of blue painter's tape. The full-size templates are glued to the plywood with spray mount adhesive. Here I'm using 3M77. A router table is used to clean up the lines and round the corners. The slots are cut with a table saw. After cutting, the templates are removed with a heat gun and the wood is being cleaned up with sandpaper and file. The slats have all been marked with a pencil to allow easy alignment during glue up. Here the two pieces of wood that make up the handle are being glued and clamped together. Okay, now this is a dry fit which might turn out to be the final fit. Looks pretty good. After a bit of sanding and trimming, all the parts fit nicely and we're ready for glue up. This is where all the clamps come in handy. I've chosen to glue up all the parts at one time and to clamp the box down on the table and hopefully it'll be level when the glue is set. I have to say there was no real plan for this project and the idea for it only came up the day before I started. But thanks to all the work I've been doing with Fusion, I was able to turn an idea into a project in a short time with one sketch. I'm really pleased with how this turned out. I think it looks a little crude, but that's fine for a tool. I'm not going to put a finish on it as it's just a holder for tools, and all the clamping would chip the paint anyway. Here's a few shots of the completed caddy. Maybe a stain would look nice. Well, that's it. Looks pretty good, full of clamps.